Daryl Matthews McDaniels, better known by his stage name DMC, is an American rapper and author. McDaniels is a founding member of the legendary hip-hop group Run DMC, along with Joseph Run Simmons and Jason Jam Master J. Mizell. Run DMC released seven studio albums between 1984 and 2001, including the three-time platinum Raising Hell in 1986 and the platinum King of Rock in 1985 and Tougher Than Leather in 1988. DMC is considered one of the pioneers of hip-hop culture. DMC is six foot tall and has an estimated net worth of $40 million. DMC's Early Life Daryl McDaniels was born on May 31, 1964 in Harlem, New York. McDaniels grew up in Hollis, Queens. He was born to an unwed mother who surrendered him to the New York founding home. He was a ward of the foundling and foster care until placed with the McDaniels and eventually adopted by them. They raised him as Catholic. He attended Rice High School in Manhattan and later enrolled in St. John's University in Queens. McDaniels first became interested in hip-hop music after listening to recordings of Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five. In 1978, McDaniels taught himself to DJ in the basement of his parents' home, using turntables and a mixer that he bought with his older brother, Alfred, after having a comic book sale in their neighborhood. During this period, he adopted the stage name Grandmaster Get High. DMC's Personal Life Daryl married Zuri Alston on September 28, 1992, and they welcomed son Daryl Jr. on July 27, 1994. In 2006, McDaniels co-founded the Felix Organization with fellow adoptee Sheila Jaffe, who was an Emmy-winning casting director. The Felix Organization is dedicated to providing inspiring opportunities and new experiences to enrich the lives of children who are growing up in the foster care system. And in September 2006, Daryl was honored with the Congressional Angels in Adoption Award. He has served on the board of directors of the charitable organization Children's Rights, and in 2010, he was honored at the fifth annual Children's Rights Benefit for his passionate commitment to the most vulnerable among our nation's children. McDaniels has been a resident of Wayne, New Jersey. He has been very frank about his battles with depression, including an appearance on Live from the Barrage, speaking at length about it. He also has written pieces in Men's Health and Black Doctor, where he talked about his memoir, 10 Ways Not to Commit Suicide. DMC's Professional Career McDaniels formed Run DMC with his friend Joseph Run Simmons in 1983, and DJ Jason Jam Master J. Mizell soon joined the group. In 1984, the trio released their self-titled debut album and became very successful in the hip-hop industry. Their follow-up, 1985's King of Rock, went platinum, and their third album, 1986's three-time platinum Raising Hell, hit number one on the top R&B hip-hop albums chart and number three on the Billboard 200 chart. In 1986, Run DMC released a cover of Aerosmith's Walk This Way, featuring vocals by Steven Tyler and Joe Perry on guitar, and it went platinum and reached number four on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Another single from Raising Hell, It's Tricky, was certified two times platinum. Around this time, Daryl was drinking heavily, sometimes finishing off eight 40-ounce bottles of malt liquor in a single day, and he was arrested twice on charges of DUI and public intoxication. In 1987, the group recorded the song Christmas in Hollis for the benefit album A Very Special Christmas. They released their fourth studio album, Tougher Than Leather, in 1988, and it reached number 9 on the Billboard 200 chart and number 2 on the Top R&B and Hip Hop Albums chart. In 1990, Run DMC released the album Back From Hell, followed by 1993's Down With The King, which went gold and reached number 1 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart and number 7 on the Billboard 200 chart. In 1997, McDaniels was suffering from depression and becoming unhappy with the demands of performing and touring. He used alcohol and prescription drugs to deal with his unhappiness, and after his voice started giving out on tour, he was diagnosed with a vocal disorder called spasmodic dysphonia. At a time when Daryl was feeling suicidal, he heard that Sarah McLaughlin song, Angel, and was inspired to reassess his life and write his autobiography. In 2001, Run DMC released their first album in eight years, Crown Royal. Then they toured with Aerosmith. Tragically, Jam Master Jay was murdered in 2002, and his murder was not solved until August 2020, when drug dealers Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. were charged with the crime. McDaniels released his solo album, Checks, Thugs, and Rock and Roll, in 2006, and it featured a collaboration with Sarah McLaughlin, who he credited with saving his life. 
The album peaked at 87 on the top R&B and hip-hop albums chart, and he followed it with the solo EP Back From The Dead in 2017. In 2009, he appeared on the documentary The People Speak, and in 2011, he co-founded the record label IME Records with producer Wade Martin. In 2014, Daryl released the graphic novel DMC, which he co-wrote with Damian Scott. In 2016, McDaniels released the album The Dark Project with the band Fragile Mortals, who were previously known as Generation Kill. And that year, he had a cameo on Saturday Night Live during a Christmas and Hollis parody. In recent years, he has performed on albums by Solos Dias, Caparezza, and Deliverance. And in 2021, Hip Hop Public Health released Community Immunity, a rap anthology about vaccines which consists of five animated videos featuring Daryl to increase COVID-19 vaccine coverage in communities of color. In 2011, McDaniels joined forces with producer Wade Martin to open the record label IME Records. In 2014, McDaniels ventured into the comics industry with his own publishing imprint, Daryl Makes Comics. Daryl Makes Comics' first book is DMC, a 90-page anthology graphic novel set in 1985 that features McDaniels as a superhero who confronts both criminals and other superheroes whose recklessness threatens innocent lives. The comics version of DMC wears McDaniels' signature Adidas sneakers, fedora, and rope chain, along with an elongated turtleneck that masks his face. The book is written by McDaniels and Damian Scott and edited by Daryl Makes Comics. DMC's Awards and Nominations Run DMC received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016, and Raising Hell earned a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocal in 1986. In 1987, they won two Soul Train Awards, Best Rap Album for Raising Hell and Best Rap Single for Walk This Way, and received a nomination for Album of the Year, Group, Duo, or Band for Raising Hell. The group earned American Music Award nominations for Favorite Soul R&B Band Duo Group 1987, Favorite Soul R&B Video for Walk This Way 1987, Favorite Rap Hip Hop Artist in 1989, and Favorite Rap Hip Hop Album for Tougher Than Leather 1989. In 1987, they earned MTV Video Music Award nominations for Best Stage Performance in a Video and Best Overall Performance in a Video for Walk This Way. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. You can also like and share this video.